Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome to another tutorial video right here. We are sitting in the all new Skoda Kushak and what we're going to explain to you today is the infotainment system right here. So without any further ado, let's get straight into that. So right now this is the home screen of the infotainment system right here. So what you can see here is your radio. So now it's the radio that is playing on the media. You have your quick access over here that is your Apple CarPlay, that's my phone connected to Apple CarPlay. I have the radio right here and the navigation system at the bottom. On this side, I have uh, the connect. So basically my Bluetooth connectivity to the system, Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. Now, if you see Apple CarPlay is highlighted cause my phone is connected to that. Then on the left hand side, what you see is the Apple CarPlay icon again, because it is connected. If it is not, it would not be there. Below that you have your media, so that is your music, which you can scroll through different other options. Uh, below that you can also turn off your screen, so you can have that option that you turn it off. And here is a shop, so basically you can download apps and stuff from this system. And at the bottom you have a volume key as well. So let's slide and see what is there on this side. So you also have your traction control button on this side, which you can switch it on and off and your settings. So we'll get into all this little later. Let's see what else we have. So we can scroll to the right hand side. Here you have vehicle data. So you have your consumption, the time the engine has been on, your average speed and trip. Whereas uh, you also have vehicle status and stuff, which will be displayed over here once you start driving. Now we're sitting in the showroom with the car inside. So that's why this is all that you get. And in case there are any notifications here, like your service due or something needs to be changed, you will also have it notified over here. Let's go to the next one. This is basically your apps that I was talking to you about. So you can basically download a couple of apps like your navigation apps or something like that. You have the Skoda Play Apps store over here, wherein you can do that. So now let's go back to the home screen and let me explain to you everything in detail. So this is basically the radio right here. So this is basically your media. You can also change it to different other things. So one is you can connect your USB. So you have two USB options, USB one, USB two, and you also have your Apple CarPlay. So you can basically select each, e either one of those and that will be displayed on this side of the screen. Here you have your uh, quick access. So that is basically as my phone is connected to Bluetooth and Apple CarPlay, I can make phone calls from here. So I can directly select this and it will take me to my phone book registry. Below that you have the tuner. So that is your radio. So if you go to that right now, we already have preset radio stations already set over here. So we can select e either one of these. But if you want to change or you want to tune your own, you can add a new one right here like this and go to the tuner here you can either do it manually by scrolling on this or you can also tap it right here so you have two options to do that so this is basically that and if you want to do it the other way you can also type a station over here like you have a keypad over here on this side you have fm you have am these are the two options that are available let's go back to the main screen below that you have your navigation so let's select navigation now. We have not yet logged into navigation on the screen, but uh, there is a process where you need to scan it from your phone and you can register and stuff. And then you can use navigation over here. So that's another nice thing. On this side, you have your connect. So basically your phone connect. So if you click on this one, we have basically already some of the phones that are already connected to Bluetooth. But if you want to add another Bluetooth device right now, it's all full, but uh, let's delete one of these so let's just say edit and we delete so we need to add a new bluetooth device what we need to do is you'll have something like this you add a device and then basically you search for the device and then you'll get a notification on your phone and that's how you connect it to that uh you also have wi-fi over here so basically you can share wi-fi to the entertainment system right here to connect to stuff or download things and stuff as the app and stuff so you can use that apple carplay and android auto so let's click on apple carplay right now it's already connected to apple carplay so this is my apple carplay connected so this is pretty self explanatory if you have already used apple carplay it's the same thing you have google maps your music your calls and stuff like that so it's a very nice and 
easy thing to use below that android auto it's the same way you basically connect your phone to bluetooth and you have an option to connect to it. you'll get a notification in your phone asking you whether you want to connect to android auto if it's an android phone apple if you want to connect to apple carplay and you select that and accordingly you'll have it set uh, already on your screen and that too this is done wirelessly so you don't need to use a cable and stuff like that it is completely wireless that's the great part about it so from there we go to the next as i already explained the media to you below that you can switch off uh, the system or you can also mute or unmute it uh, below that i have already shown you the um, skoda play app so that's that and here you can adjust your volume so basically you can adjust your volume increase decrease your volume accordingly you can mute unmute it and stuff so this is basically on the left hand side of the screen on the right hand side you have the traction control as i said so you can basically switch it off that easily tap it again switch it on so this is how easy it is on the top what you can see here is uh, it's not connected to any Wi-Fi, so it's red. Once it's connected, it will obviously show you. You have the time as well on the top, and this thing over here is your driver profiles. So you can basically set multiple profiles over here. So you can add a new one, add your name. You can add a character as well to it. So say we add a new one, we add your name on this. It's a very easy thing. There are already two over here. Plus you also have a valet mode. So if you want to give it to a uh, a valet driver you can use that but you need to create a pin so basically a lot of the things will be locked and you can only show what you want to show uh, there is this one that is already selected right now which is saying one somebody has already added that so this is how it is so you can set different things and accordingly your preferences will be shown on the screen so from there we go to the setting icon right here at the bottom so this is what we have the settings the first is the screen off so you turn that off, you touch that and it turns off the next is your audio settings right here so you can basically adjust your bass mid treble or you have the preset ones you can set it rock classic and etc from there we go back you have the connect basically the same thing i showed you earlier connect your phone to bluetooth and stuff like that below that is your profile so basically the driver profile that i was explaining to you it's basically that you can also do that over here and here you have something called as the lights so basically these are uh, the interior lighting so you have the instrument cluster panel lighting uh, you have the front light you also can adjust the exterior light from here so basically the coming home feature the leaving home feature you can adjust the seconds you have it five seconds ten seconds or you can switch it off in case you don't want it uh, below that you have your uh, convenience indication then your turn time on so you have this that you can set and you have the rain uh, dependency this is the automatic headlamp control so basically when it rains you basically your headlamps will also come on then uh let's go back from here you have your valet mode that's basically the thing that i was telling you earlier you can give the car to a valet and you can switch off certain controls on this side you have the brightness of the screen so basically you can increase or decrease that accordingly and it also auto adjusts according to the exterior lighting so once it's night it basically reduces once it's day it basically brightens up below that so these are your quick settings that are already on display over here you have your system settings so again the bluetooth phone audio which we already went through display again it's basically the brightness that we already did you can change uh, multiple skins so this is basically the default skin that is here but you have an option to download and change that you have the touch screen sound that you can switch off or on but it's nice to have it on so you know what you're touching and uh, so this is basically with regards to the display you have the wi-fi settings over here so you can connect it to wi-fi below that you have the unit so basically this is your you can either have kilometers in kilometers or miles you can have speed also in kilometers per hour or miles per hour temperature again you can have it in degrees celsius or fahrenheit and again the consumption you can have it as kilometers per 100 liters or kilometers per liter miles per gallon and etc etc you can change it according to your preference over here again the tire pressure bar psi etc you can change that as well from here so you have loads of settings on this screen right here from there we go back you also have language selection you can change it to any other language that you know 
other than English. And uh, you have your time and date settings over here. So you have the manual adjust or you have the auto detect. So you keep the auto detect, it'll automatically detect the time and set it for you. Then uh, you have the date format and you can also change your date and stuff from here. Pretty basic things. Uh, system information is basically the information of the system. You can reset the entire settings. Suppose you change some settings and you want to go back to the re factory reset settings. You can do that from the system reset and you have the copyrights basically of the infotainment system basically do with the software of the infotainment system below that let's go to car here you have your electronic stability control which is activated you can switch it off as well if you don't want it but you can do it from here you have your light settings that's again the same thing that i've already explained to you time and date mirrors and wipers so you have the auto folding you can have that also folding when you lock it and the wipers can be the rain sensing wipers you can switch that off and on instrument cluster you have uh, things that you can display on the instrument cluster over here so you can select or uh, unselect certain things that are here so these are the things that are already selected like your oil temperature speed warning digital speed average speed distance travel time etc etc this is some of the things that are already selected service settings is basically um, so the car has to be service in 215 days or 8200 kilometers it also gives you your vehicle chassis number as well over there win number over there uh, below that you have your tires so basically this is a speed warning that you can set over here and uh, if you change it to winter tires you can adjust the things but we don't use that in india so that's regarding that Opening, closing, basically this is the unlocking of the doors. You can have only the driver's door unlocked or you can have all the doors unlocked. Sorry for that, I need to go back. So next we have the opening and closing of the doors. You can have only the driver's door unlocked or you can have all the doors unlocked uh, at the same time when you unlock the car. Uh, then you can also have it to lock automatically basically when you drive you can once you hit hit a speed of 10 or something the car doors will automatically lock for safety reasons then let's go back from there you have the units that we've already explained to you and the factory settings so basically yeah you can reset the same thing from here let's go back you have media bluetooth audio already explained apps is basically um, you can adjust it alphabetically or installation date accordingly you can do that notifications is basically in case there is any notification the car wants to give you it will basically show on the screen that i've already explained to you in the start so it will come up on the screen and pop up and let you know that there's something that the car needs to want you to do at the workshop so that's uh, pretty much what is there on the settings part of it and basically on the entire infotainment system it's a very nice infotainment system to use the touch is nice um, it's very easy it's self-explanatory actually um, so yeah this is pretty much how you use your infotainment system on the new Skoda Kushak so with that guys we come to an end of another video if you have any more questions regarding the infotainment system do let us know in the comment section down below we will reply to you as soon as possible and uh, with that guys me ruben signing out for now see you next video also do not forget to subscribe